Thank you, David. So in the, in the next few minutes, I'm going to try to represent the, the stories and the voices of dozens of uh, patrons and organizations that, that make up uh, this definition that we have of, of community. And what community is to us, as we came to understand it in, in our process, was um, a, the, really the, the core group of people who run the library and who work within the library system, B, the CBOs, the community-based organizations, uh, who are with, throughout, the, throughout the community, um, but also participating in what the library has to offer, and then finally, the, the patrons of the library. And all of these three work together in a, in a very synergistic way to create the dynamics of the library. So we adopted the Eastern Parkway branch in Crown Heights. And um, I would like to, to shout out to, um, I know she's not here, but uh, Kimberly Tobler, who's the director there, was awesome. She was a rock star. And um, Tiffany, if you're still here, you guys are all rock stars. What you, what you do at the libraries are, are incredible. And we learned so much from, yeah. We learned, we learned so much from you, um, so just want to say thanks. So what was our goal uh, in, in, this whole, in this whole process, which I'll go through? To, to help the libraries um, to develop a process to better uh, engage and connect with its patrons and assess its, its, its needs. But what it wasn't was a, uh, we weren't trying to get to an end. We were not trying to get to a specific design solution. So there's nothing here that, that posits a, a, a design or a design solution. We were after a process. Um, but during that process, we learned so much more. And, and what we learned during that process is really what made up our, our key findings. So to start, we, we internally, in working with, with the library and with, with uh, the center, really thought about a process that would build on itself um, in terms of how we would engage with the users of the library. And we started uh, very similar to some of the presentations that you saw before, a little bit of demographic mapping, a little bit of asset mapping, um, some user intercepts where we went in and talked to uh, some of the users of the library on a sort of random basis just to anchor ourselves in what we were doing. Uh, so the first group of people that we met with were the branch library staff. And through those meetings, and, and we'll talk a little bit about that, um, we came away with some key takeaways. Those takeaways uh, then informed the next meeting, which was the library staff plus the CBOs together in a facilitated discussion, had some takeaways from that. And then the third was the branch library staff, the CBOs, and in a very public forum invited some of the, the community stakeholders and library users. So that, in a nutshell, was how we organized the process. Um, so the first session uh, we held at the library, and again, it was uh, primarily with the library staff uh, and with BPL, uh, BPL staff. And it was a, in a facilitated roundtable sort of forum, and so we, um, we asked uh, a sort of key uh, set of questions to, to these individuals. So these were all the, the titles of the people who were in our, in our first meeting. And we, we centered our questions mostly on questions about neighborhood, uh, connectivity, your users, how do you attract users, and what are their needs and values. And we tried to keep the, the, the subject on point. And so these are just some of the, the quotes that um, came out of coming out of that, that first session. The library should be uh, a learning center for uh, any age or any interest. And we learned during that process that there are at least five languages spoken in the community. And there are each of those uh, language speakers have very uh, specific demands on what they want out of the library. It's a huge challenge. Um, as librarians, we know our community and work to meet its diverse needs. Uh, and that's from, from even the, the most complex needs to the simple needs uh, of working mothers who have no place to drop their, their children off and how the security guard actually works sometimes as a de facto babysitter. And, and, but they relish that opportunity and they engage with the community in that way. Um, the, the library is uh, neutral, dignified, and democratic and had some very interesting, we, uh, one of the earlier presentations talked about 
uh, homelessness. And we, we had a very interesting and revealing conversation about the perception of homelessness in the Crown Heights community, uh, the issues, issues of dignity and issues of access, um, and how it really needs to reach into all of those, uh, th those different users, and how the library really can be a change agent in the community. So what we didn't expect, our key takeaway here, was that just by standing back and listening to people in a room who hadn't really had a venue or an opportunity to speak to each other, um, they connected with, with each other and became an even more cohesive group than they were before because it wasn't like a staff meeting. This was a more, a more visionary meeting. So our big takeaway was um, you, know, you put these people uh, in a room together and you talk about high level issues, issues that impact them at their heart and um, you get some very, uh, some very good uh, connectivity. So session two, as I mentioned, um, we started to include some of the CBOs. And uh, the process of even identifying the CBOs, you know, we went on to Google Maps. Um, David Giles was uh, incredibly instrumental in you know, really drilling down into who's in the community, uh, then reaching out to them and trying to get them into a meeting. And um, we learned a lot just by the process of identifying and bringing those people into a meeting. But, they, but these are the, some, of the, some of the folks who came to the second meeting. Um, and again, we, we talked a lot about um, the neighborhood, uh, the library's purpose, uh, its uh, partnerships. The partnerships became a, a huge issue uh, and a huge topic of discussion um, that, that, again, you know, access to information uh, means opportunity. And both from the perspective of the CBOs uh, and from the, uh, from the perspective of the library, um, it's a depository and a, for local resources and a hub to engage with them that we were throwing around ideas uh, about the library being a space where the community can celebrate its successes, where, whether it's a business success or an art opening. Um, but the idea that um, it really is a place that speaks to the, the, the passion and the needs of the community. We also talked a lot about uh, the library as a cultural uh, touchstone platform for community leaders to engage with the community. We had a, a representative from Community Board 8 um, talking about a lot of things that they did as a community board, but the, a lot of the CBOs didn't even realize that uh, some, of the, uh, some of the resources that were available through CB8. So the library actually in this instance was kind of the mediator where all of those uh, community stakeholders came together and learned about each other. Um, and then on even things like tutoring where um, the library has more students coming in for tutoring than they can handle, but the Mediation Center trains tutors and can't find students. So the idea of uh, reaching out to the community and finding where those synergies exist um, was something that was uh, really revealed to us. And so um, what we didn't expect in that process was the depth uh, of neighborhood and really the potential synergies that existed, whether it's tutoring or uh, ES ESOL instruction um, or homelessness advocacy, there was a whole host of things that we, that we just didn't expect to, as part of the process. In the, in the third session, uh, which was uh, less of a facilitated visioning session and more of a facilitated work group, we had almost 50 people and the, they, they really represented uh, a mix of the libraries, the CBOs, and the patrons. And so we had to do something a little bit different to manage a group that size and that diverse. So we, we sort of invented a game and we, we put groups of five people at tables, uh, we tried to mix up the tables, and we, uh, and again, these were some of the, the folks who came to the presentation, to the workshop. Um, and we gave them these 11 issues to ponder and to talk amongst themselves. And what we, we gave them about uh, 40 minutes, and at the end, they had to rank them. They had to say, which do you think are the most important issues facing the library in your community today? Uh, we then took the results of that. Um, and came up with these sort of collective ideas uh, that were the consensus of the group. And I won't go into what we, uh, some of the, the further uh, action items, but we asked them for near-term and far-term actionable items. But these five ideas were, were the things that rose to the, to the fore for most. So the library as the hub of the community, that partnerships do strengthen the library, the library reflects the needs of the neighborhood, um, this idea of service awareness, um, and, a, and a PR campaign and getting the word out about what the library actually does. There's a huge kind of um, stop where 
The library knows what it does, but the community, and we, this was revealed even in some of our user intercepts, that the, you know, a lot of the community doesn't even know what the library has to offer. And then, of course, as has been talked about before, technology plays a huge role in, um, in where, the where the library will be going in the future. Uh, tremendous demand on computers uh, for everything from um, job applications to people who don't have access to, commu to computers at home. And, and so um, what we didn't expect here um, was you know this idea of, of co-creation and uh, consensus building amongst all of the stakeholders and how this really leads to a sense of ownership um, amongst the uh, the entire the entire group and, I, and and this can be a really great kind of front end activity to anything um, any work any thinking that is going to impact the library. So, just some uh, some in conclusion, um, what we think. Uh, the branch library should consider, the branches and libraries should consider as part of a, we'll call it a startup process. You know, when, when you start a design process, um, it seems like these are the kinds of activities that you should be having before you come up with design solutions. This is the kind of research uh, that should be done in communities. So, you know, connect the library, st the library staff with each other through these structured dialogues. Um, identify the community syn synergies, local stakeholders, um, and not only do you identify those synergies, but find ways that those can continue into the future. So, you know, can CAMBA or can the Mediation Center have an ongoing role with the library and, and vice versa? Um, engaging, engaging the local CBOs and leaders, um, the library really needs to engage uh, or to embrace its role as the hub of the community. I think that there's a huge responsibility uh, that I know that the libraries do feel, but they need to embrace that role. Uh, and then finally, to, to co-create goals and programs that will uh, in, in, enrich the library mission and then get the word out. So um, those are really the key takeaways, and, and thank you very much.